what's going on guys it's scratch or more bringing you a little quick tutorial tips been getting a lot of questions lately regarding uh, style challenges and the one that seems to pop up the most is people are having trouble hitting that 90 GP amount in order to unlock the fourth challenge or the boss or last challenge for your GP style in order to become a master at that style and you get the elite collectible that you need eventually if you're trying to make the set or whatnot but a lot of people are struggling just to get to the point in order to even play that last challenge you need 90 GP and in order to do that you gotta basically load up your your first line of each position with players with the highest bonus per style and the master key what I like to call is right here Mike Evans rising star in order to get this you need to combine two gold rising star Mike Evans which is right here this card right here the one on the right you combine two of those GP rising stars and you will get the elite Mike Evans rising star with the double XP bonus as you can see that's the highest you can get right there plus 14 GP and it's gonna help you really close the margin to that 90 mark you the only other way you can do this without getting that elite this elite Mike Evans would be to purchase a elite coach and I can tell you right now it's running anywhere from 40,000 to 60,000 and a lot of people obviously don't have that much coins to spare so if you don't uh, easiest way it's not the easiest way but the fastest way would be to build an elite Mike Evans you can usually do it for like under 10 grand if you get lucky or if you uh, just happen to have it already from opening packs and whatnot and go ahead and combine two of them and you can get your plus 14 Mike Evans GP next in your WR2 slot you actually want to have one of those cards that you actually need to combine but what you want to do is you need a third one and you'll go ahead and put that into your WR2 slot and he has plus seven just standalone so those two already gives you a plus 21 GP boost that's gonna really help you get close now as you do the challenges there's four stages one two three and four the first stage you, they usually give you a bronze player and it's important to keep each of these players that you get rewarded because they possess a style boost and these players are the only way that you can get a player with a higher boost without entering the elite tier so as you can see obviously he's not as close as mike evans but you're not gonna get a plus six gp receiver any other way unless you buy the mike evans gold which is a plus seven but the one that you really gotta make sure you do not quick sell this card let's see if the option is even there do not put this in your set is what I meant do not put this card in your set until you do the challenge I, I cannot count how many people they they look at the card they go ah look the guy on the right is better look he's 79 he's got higher stats yeah but here's the problem he's got the plus 9 GP bonus and the other guy doesn't Casey for example is the only one that you're gonna get a plus nine GP bonus in the fullback spot the highest you can get from regular gold cards is right there plus five that's four points that you can't get any other way than with that card right there and as you can see in the top left corner there's the up sign up arrow that style boost and those cards you do not want to get rid of those cards use those cards they give it to you as a reward don't you know let the stats fool you just look at the GP bonus because that's really all that matters all you're trying to do is reach that 90 GP mark by any means necessary now uh, your O-line 
each O-line person, unless you have an elite, is going to max out at 5 GP across the board. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, five that's going to give you 25. Your tight end, you should be hitting 6 with your tight end. Okay, This is for ground pound now. Each style is different. Ground pound by far was the hardest. Uh, LP, SP, long pass and uh, short pass way easier to do the mike evans uh version of that elite card with a double bonus is plus 18 it's, it's way easier your tight end also has more points uh anyway going on to the quarterback position you should get a plus five bonus out of him and your running back should be plus eight that's the one you want to get plus eight each position you really have to focus on getting the max amount of gp per position slot because you're gonna need every single one in order to hit that 90 mark so once you get all that taken care of what you're actually gonna need uh the actual last part you'll need oh and this is actually uh the elite pack that i just want uh got from the challenge for doing the GP style I have to play the 49ers on all Madden they were very cheesy very tough battle the best suggestion I can give to you if you're struggling against all Madden is to control the clock and just try to minimize any opportunity where they can hit your receivers across the middle you know try to try to get passes to your receivers that are going away from them because anytime you throw a route heading to a defender 90 percent of the time he's gonna hit you and the ball is gonna come out or he's gonna pick it like like he's fucking superman anyway there's a gp pack you guys are actually get a look at it live here we go come on give me something good Ground Pound Master, this is what you get for completing the challenge. And Jared Cook, tight end, GP, nice. Very nice. Very underrated rookie. He was going to have a, a nice chance to have a breakout season. Ooh, nice. Plus 9 GP right there. That's what I'm talking about. But obviously, you're not going to get that kind of card until you finish the challenge. Hence the problem. So that's why you got to max out all your positions as high as possible bonus wise but nice pickup right there i'm gonna go ahead and throw him into my starter lineup very nice jared cook damn shame sam bradford just after recovering from his injury went down again with another real big injury they're gonna be uh rolling with the uh, no quarterback i mean they got a quarterback i believe it's uh sean hill and he's actually you know a dc pickup if you're like really nah he's not i'm just fucking with you guys <laughs> do, do not start him in fantasy football i don't know if you guys do that anyway getting way off subject other than that uh good luck when you guys reaching that 90 gp mark as you can see with that new starter in my lineup jake cook it brought me up to 93 gp so good luck with the 90 gp challenge subscribe for more and i'm out aloha